All right, welcome to this test meeting. Today's topics are uh, the naming of realms and uh, uh, discussing the property override mistake and if there are ways forward or around it. Um, Leo, would you like to uh, summarize the, the current conversation around the name of realm? Sure. Um, as anyone can expect, uh, and thanks. As anyone can expect, we, we got uh, a, a very considerate amount of uh, name suggestions uh, for realms. Um, it's okay for everyone to uh, have opinions. What is also uh, interesting, uh, I would say here, there's no perfect name for what we created. Um, I think uh, for me, in my own opinion, like the perfect name is refers to something that doesn't have a very specific name. Like I mentioned the glove box and um, so uh, after collecting some of that, I intend to bring to TC39 a small collection of names or to get like a easier maybe an easier solution. That's my hope. Um, uh, the first of all is like just the status quo, just continue with realms, uh, understanding like the, the uh, issues as people raise as like keeping this name would bring. I don't think there would be like uh, breaking anything on the web. It's more, uh, more of the confusion it brings to uh, and, maybe implementers, um, maybe it's just like the communication of like the realm constructor creates uh, realms, uh, but it does only this and that. And uh, then uh, after this name, we have some suggestions. Uh, there is one name that we are considering this uh, bubble. Um, it's not my, my perf, uh, personal favorite one, uh, but it's like a suggestion that is being supported by many people, including people from the champion uh, group. And uh, every name has its pros and cons. Uh, Bubble is still remains as a single name and it does have the advantage of being just a single name uh, itself. It kind of uh, gives a sense this is a new thing um, at the same time, it does have the cons as like, uh, in my own opinion, I think bubble, if someone tries to search, like what, what this is about, like if they find it, uh, there is something available and natively in the browser. And then I search on the web, uh, what something is about. If I try to search for bubble JavaScript, definitely I'm going to find a lot of things about like event bubbles, uh, a lot of things that are not realms related. Um, this is one of my, uh, Think that I believe it's a better counter argument than the next one. The next one is people say just like bubble just works as a cutesy. Um, it's a cute name uh, and also doesn't explain what the uh, API does. Um, so this made me try to think about a name as we discuss here in the SAS meetings. And I've been trying to find some taxonomy uh, that works for, for these. And I try to stick with what we have. So the, one of the suggestions is a satellite realm. It still doesn't fit in the, like just a single name. It's a double name. It, it says it's related to realm and satellite. It's not yet a thing uh, on the web word, at least on the native APIs. Um, it's, one of the advantages is actually like, it's easy for people to uh, browse on the web, what is a satellite uh, realm. And it kind of like gives uh, the thing, it, it's something that it's related to the main realm, to the main board. Um, and it does have a protocol of communication. You can actually, they, the satellite don't usually touch the main realm. Uh, so that gives like this communication uh, aspect of like there's a lot of metaphors here to build these names these are all metaphors uh i feel like i'm actually reading poetry here <laughs> to build up like a good justification uh but it, it's yes it's a name that is workable if someone searches for satellite realm i don't think they would find like anything else 
for the web, like, oh, the satellite realm is actually this other unrelated thing. That they, they would not have this accident. Um, and yeah, and yet, like, still stick with the realm uh, at the end. And for that, if people just want to keep it like web like constructor, we also have shadow realm. Uh, just following like uh, the band of like we have shadow dome. So I was let, let me ask about that one. So if there is a, an an actual analogy there, that's interesting. But I know what the shadow dom is, and I know what these things are that we're talking about, and I don't see the analogy. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not exactly a shadow dome. It might give like the different uh, aspect. This is the the weakest uh, suggestion of this summary that I'm bringing. But I mean, is is there an I, 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 is there an analogy at all? I mean, is there any way in which these things are similar concepts? No, it's more like the shadow realm would not. Uh, it, it's like just something to give an idea. You're creating a synthetic realm that is not the main realm, so the shadow uh, realm would be uh, not the main one. It's something shadowing. It's more like using the same analogy. It's like a mirror realm. There is so, no perfect name. All of them has imperfections. So yes. Okay. Okay. So given given that it sounds like it's making an analogy to Shadow Dom, and in fact there is zero analogy there, I think that's a fatal problem for Shadow Realm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it makes like this suggestion the the weakest one of this list that I'm bringing here. Okay. Um. Um, just, um, sorry, just just to try to understand the, the at least the analogy that I understand with shadow dom is that there is some sort of encapsulation um, that someone is in control. You put some implementation details in a separate space, and then you have some ways to interact with it. At least the way that I see shadow dom, um, and it seems that that. It's not very different from what we do in a realm where we have a, a, a one piece that controls the other in some degree. Uh, whatever the other is doing internally, you don't have much of the same, but you can interact with it in some degree. So it's shadowing the, the internals of what's happening uh, beyond the edge of what you see. At least that's the okay. way I see it. Okay, well, well, thank you. That's what I was looking for. In that case, I remove, I withdraw my objection to Shadow Realm. I have one pet peeve over a satellite realm that is like, especially as a, like having English as a second language, I hate the double L on satellite. This is a pet peeve. Uh, this is not a, like a strong argument, but like as a champion, no, it, is, uh, it, it is. It is. For this one difficult. specific reason, I would prefer shadow realm instead of shadow uh, satellite realm. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, first of all, that <laughs> that word is very difficult to pronounce to anyone who who native speaking Spanish. Uh, so satellite is very difficult. It takes a while for you to get even close. Um, so that's a, a legitimate concern. I would say. I. I actually have one concern with a satellite realm is if you yes. consider it in uh, the context of compartments and agents and so on, a compartment would be the one creating a new uh, global and uh, module map. Um, having a realm which is technically bigger than, than that, a satellite feels like something small. Uh, and, and so having a realm that's encompassing compartments being smaller than what a compartment would be named, it feels awkward to me. Um, if you go in the galaxy of, uh, of things, uh, agent would be a universe uh, um, and agent cluster, a metaverse or whatever. Uh, the um, compartment would be a globe for global, uh, but then the satellites, which sits in between the universe and the globe, that doesn't fit in uh, in universe terms. Yeah, and I have similar similar concern. Plus, the the fact that you can create a realm inside another realm. So when it comes to a satellite, then it kind of doesn't give me the the mental model that I can just continue creating more and more of these and 
and have them going around the one that creates them. Yeah. So, uh, so actually, I, I, I don't understand uh, the, I mean, certainly these things create each other and that does seem weird with the satellite analogy, but I don't think of the other realms as inside. I just so think it's not, of it's not being, inside. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, uh, it's just uh, in the case of satellite, like it's just around it, right? Okay, it just it's a it's a tree of creation. Realms create realms, but they're but they're not in any sense nested, um, uh, uh, other than historically according to their creation. So so, so something I, I keep coming back to is we we originally landed on the word realm because and, and people should correct me if my understanding is, is wrong here uh, because that was a uh, a term used in the ECMA two six two spec internally. Um, and, and in fact, a lot of this is kind of continuing in the tradition of uh, expanding the language by taking uh, internal abstractions that are in the spec and bringing them out into the uh, API. Um, but of course, in the, in, the, in the course of doing that, we made various refinements and uh, both, both generalizations and, and, and restrictions on what this meant. And, and so now we've got this thing, which is a distinct concept unto itself. And so a question that occurs to me to ask is how does what we end up with uh, differ from the thing that is referred to in the spec as a realm? And, and could whatever characterizes that difference be used as a, as a modifier rather than a word like satellite or shadow? So the biggest difference is the callable boundary. Um, uh, the fact that, that these things are created by a standard API uh, doesn't make, doesn't by itself make the thing that is created different than the realm and the spec. But the fact that there is uh, this enforced separation by the callable boundary is quite a difference from the realm and the spec. The realm and the spec has to account and has to continue to account for the semantics of direct object to object interactions between realms, uh, even though that is not a possible consequence of realms created by this API. So, so how much of the callable boundary component of the design is um, sort of what I would, uh, of course, I'm kind of biasing things a little bit here, but, but uh, sort of core functionality and how much of that is a, a thing that was done to overcome uh, various objections that people had? Well, to, to the people who had the objections, it's core functionality. And yeah. to the rest of us, it was there to appease them. Right, right. Um, and if the callable, is the callable, because the thing is the callable boundary thing is a relatively very recent addition to the, to the spec. Um, and before we added callable boundaries, was there any significant difference between the, the spec realm and this thing? No. Okay. To, um, to put this in perspective, there is an actual PR that lets us do a non-callable one by just changing a few wordings in the spec. Like, it's, it's just the way that uh, realm setups are done required a more significant PR. So okay. a proposal. I just I'm just wondering is is if, if the if the uh, whatever the impedance mismatch is between spec realms and 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 this thing we're trying to name uh, is could be could be used as a as a generator of, of terminology. Yeah. It's kind of the the callable boundary, it's kind of like an air gap or something. It's saying that these things you know, interact and communicate, but they can never quite touch each other. I don't, I, that's, a, you know, I don't, I don't know what to derive from that physical analogy. So but I think see, that- I see. Let, let, me, let, uh, let me try to get, bring back one of the perspectives here and uh, more context why I'm actually summarizing these current names uh, and the goals. The goal here is, is finding like, it's actually, my, my main goal is actually ending the discussion over uh, renaming uh, realms because I just don't, 
Like my main goal is not to block the proposal because we are actually trying to find a good name. Uh, as I mentioned before, Realms itself would be a, work, a name that would work for me. I'm actually uh, working on this uh, bike shed in order to make, uh, make sure uh, the, all of this is observed. But I, my, my preference is just not to block uh, the proposal because of the, the name. Um, yeah, personally, I, I, I like just calling it Realm, and, and yes. uh, that seems like it simplifies a lot of other yes. stuff. Yes, and uh, all the other names that I'm suggesting here are names that are, I have not identified any strong objections. Um, there are some other, uh, a lot of other names, like even calling a callable boundary, that was one of my first suggestions. Uh, a lot of other names that I actually found uh, objections. Uh, even for these names here, I consulted with Dominic, uh, partially in public, as like there would be no objections for uh, the current suggestions. Actually, Dominic prefers uh, Bobo. I think Caridi also prefers Bob Bobo, um, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm bringing it here. Those are names that would not find like uh, not that so far I have not identified uh, strong objections. And I think what we need to stick here is that, like, do we have any strong objections about a name or that? I think we found like a good argument uh, in favor and also against uh, satellite realm in this in this call. I wonder uh, for this as well if we actually uh, have the same thing, like anything strong against shadow pro uh, shadow realm or uh, or bubble. I, I, it's okay. really like bubble is not my main preference here, but I think in this way I would lean towards uh, shadow realm. But yeah, so yeah, so a, a, a couple of a couple of notes. I, I was hoping that in this meeting we could get a chance to talk about the different names that we narrow down, or that Leo was able to narrow down, and then pick one, choose one, and then go into the plenary and saying, "Hey, this is what." this group recommends. These are the candidates. This is the one that we recommend rather than opening the discussion in yeah, the but like not for people to things. choose that because that you, you know how that, go, that will go. Uh, so would we like to close out with a um, before, closing, I would like to, before closing, I would like to bring one suggestion uh, that I don't know if it's actually been considered uh, is composing bubble and calling it realm bubble. Uh, it should solve the search, and uh, it does keep the idea of uh, the callable boundary uh, for the realm, and it keeps realm around. Mm. All right. All right. Uh, I, I need to suggest that. Yeah, um, I think I second Daniel's uh, uh, suggestion in chat that I wouldn't, I, I, that I would be more delighted to see this feature make, make, make progress than I would be dismayed by any of these names having been chosen. <laughs> um, uh, that said, I think that, wow. Well, yeah, if, if I had to choose from that, from that list, I would probably choose Shadow Realm. Um, uh, the, uh, the bubble mm -hmm. is fine, but- Do we want to go around? Realm. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking that I, my, my personal favorite is Realm. Um, uh, anybody wish to, to chime in? Favorite uh, alternatives. I think everyone's would, uh, everyone here would be okay with Realm. So I would need someone to, yeah. people to voice like their favorite sure. alternative. For sure, my, uh, for, for, for an alternate, I think Satellite Realm is the strongest in my opinion. So, so, uh... Remind me, who, who who's objecting to just realm? Because it feels like we're we're responding to something mm -hmm. that maybe there isn't. Uh, so like, the the, the situation there is that uh, the the concept of a realm uh, in the web is very different from the one in TC thirty nine or in, in two sixty two. It's very different, yeah. uh, and in, in, the concern there was that the the this uh, overloaded term. Um, will cause issues for people uh, trying to make sense of it, what it's it certainly It certainly will muddy the water for future efforts because Realm is so tightly coupled uh, across many, many concerns on the web 
yeah. um, that are not concerns going forward for some of our proposals, uh, assess motivated proposals have no, um, uh, we, we, we don't want to have our, have, get to give the impression that we care about, for example, the origin of a realm. Um, yeah, some, and maybe, maybe we're, we're specifically thinking in, of this in terms of a, a sort of a programming language, programming and program execution environment concept, as opposed to the, the way it's used in the web. And I'm wondering if that, separation is the thing that, that the name should should sure understand. the separation is also a concern about modules because currently the web we call it a, a, a code realm i mean that i'm not seriously proposing that but 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 um you know program realm or so, so, yeah. some 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 other modifier that's more pointing at you know specific technical one uh, one of the suggestions up has been intrinsics realm uh, for to beg that distinction as opposed to say global realm, which would be a compartment. Um, in, in any case, I think that we've played this topic out for the day um, <laughs> uh, because we're definitely out of clock. Um, uh, does anybody wish to get anything in on the record before we close? I, I can just say my conclusion. I feel like Shadow Realm seems the least uh a after this meeting shadow realm is seeming like the least problematic one to move forward with so if i have to go through a, a strong candidate all right thank you everyone uh that's our meeting <laughs>